Well, hey guys, I got myself some new leggings. Um, so I haven't actually been using cleanser in the morning this past, these past couple of days. Gotta admit, it does feel good going on the skin. Why don't I have you guys all the way down here in the corner? I got a new shower curtain. I know, it was like gray and white stripes, navy blue and white stripes. Wow. I'm not a real big fan though, genuinely, of modern stuff. I don't like that whole neutral, minimalist interior decorating where everything is beige and gray, but I love it for the bathroom. I don't like a lot of stuff going on in the bathroom. I like it really minimal because, I don't know, all the moisture and whatnot. Fun, fun fact, I've had that shower curtain for two years now. Every day I think to myself, I need to put that new shower curtain up. Two years later, I finally got my act together and put it up. It looks pretty good, it's from Wally World. Mainstays. I spent way too much time putting that on. Like, I, I was chatting with you guys and now I'm like, well, why did I spend that much time smearing that on my face? Anyway, I'm gonna go incubate with this for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Doesn't feel sticky. Now I'm gonna rinse it off. Yeah, I did a deep clean in my bathroom here. I'm just gonna pat the drips off because it was getting a little dusty. I'm really trying to go through stuff that I have in progress here. So that's why you kind of see me use, um, you know, different things here and there because I really want to finish some of these things <clears throat> up. So I'm gonna come in with the Healthy Renew Face Serum. I'm almost finished with this. I have another one though in action. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to the CoQ10 Serum from Timeless. That one's so good too. I don't know. <laughs> um, but this I enjoy because it provides just a little nice lightweight kick of hydration in the morning. But it absorbs pretty fast. So I can put sunscreen on over it without a lot of effort. Why are you guys all the way down there again? All right, <clears throat> trying to make my way through the CeraVe Hydrating Sheer Sunscreen. Hey guys, I'm here in Walmart. I just filmed a video for you all, so it should be going up later this week. Maybe Monday if I get my act together. There's, then you have Nizerol, which is ketoconazole. It's an antifungal. It's helpful for um, seborrheic dermatitis, which likewise is related to malassezia. It does not have that pesky preservative in it that people frequently become allergic to. But another thing about ketoconazole is it has anti-androgen effects. So there's interest in it topically for acne, actually, for addressing the hormonal component of acne. Um, not like super evidence-based, but um, you know, two percent ketoconazole is prescription in a cream, and some some people actually get good, you know, no no improvement in their acne when using that. Um, but you could try the, this as a face wash. I hope they never discontinue this T cell shampoo. It's really good for. Um, dandruff, salicylic acid 3%, anti-inflammatory, and also good if you have scalp psoriasis. Using salicylic acid first, as a side note, um, as your shampoo, it will help um, any topical medications go on better into your scalp. Like if you have psoriasis and you've been prescribed like a topical steroid or something, it will it'll penetrate into the skin much better if you use this first. Celsin Blue, their Naturals, is likewise a salicylic acid 3% shampoo. So this is another option. $7.98 versus T-Cell is $7.32. But per unit, Celsin is much less expensive than, than the Neutrogena one. This product is really good. I actually have it currently. It is a salicylic acid leave-on treatment for the scalp. It's a very viscous, very moisturizing. It's a little bit too thick for my hair. It leaves a bit of a residue, but it 
has niacinamide, which is anti-inflammatory, so that's good for dandruff. And it has com compounds from Centella or Centella Asiatica, which is anti-inflammatory. It has castor oil, which a lot of people like to use in their hair. It has rosemary extract, which, you know, there's a lot of enthusiasm for using rosemary in the scalp for hair growth. The research on that, though, is really iffy. But um, if you're going to try it, it's better to try it uh, from a product where it's been formulated rather than trying to get like the straight essential oil yourself just because the essential oil you can develop a pretty horrific contact dermatitis too i mean you would dilute it in like a carrier oil but still it's just like safer to go with a skincare product what are these little are these candles yeah candles i was thinking they look like they were going to be drinks or something but these are candles too like a moth to a flame. <laughs> Definitely don't need another tumbler, but those are pretty. All right, guys, get excited because we've got quite a few drawers to open in the K-Beauty Advent calendars. Where we left off, day four, it looks like we have something in a crayon box. Ooh. Interessante. I'm going to wager to bet this is some kind of makeup product, either a lip liner or an eyeliner or an eye pencil or some kind of stick. Not going to be skin here. The makeup, as a side note, that comes in these calendars is pretty good. Like, I've used quite a bit of the makeup, and um, I'm, these calendars are where it's at. Let's just be honest. They're not, they're not playing around with those little sample sizes. Ugh. We have a glittering eye stick. All right, glitter around the eyes makes me very nervous. The brand is Twinkle Pop. That's pretty. Looks like it'll go on real soft and smooth. Let's give it a, a test here. Ooh, all right. I don't think you guys can appreciate that. Let me change up the lighting a bit. Check out the shimmer on that. Okay, I'm excited to actually play around with this. I was a little nervous about the glitter, but it really just looks like a shimmery shadow. Glittering eye stick for sparkly eye makeup with the pearl composition and colors that are perfect for skin under the eyes. Gently apply on the desired area of the eye, lightly rub in with a hand or a brush for more natural coloration. Looking forward to playing around with this. So for day five, we have, here we go. Ugh. Looks like a little tube there. Looks like we have a Beauty of Joseon Calming Serum Green Tea Plus Panthenol. All right, so I'm loving the bright green color here. Um, Looks pretty hydrating. What do you guys think? My hands are going to be so anti-aged by the end of this, this unboxing. Uh, all right, so this particular serum from BOJ has tea leaf water, probably has some anti-inflammatory compounds in it. It has artemisia extract, which is anti-inflammatory, panthenol and glycerin are hydrating, allantoin is anti-inflammatory, Coptis Haponica root extract is very hydrating. Licorice root compound uh, is good for redness and hyperpigmentation. Sodium hyaluronate, good for hydration. Uh, this looks interesting. Two to three drops of serum onto the face, pat gently to help absorption. On the back of my hand, it feels really nice and hydrating. No fragrance. Cool. Day five was a win. Day six looks like we have, I'm going to guess that's a mascara. What do you guys think? So this is a brow fixer from the brand Rom and ND. I got something from this brand last year. I think it was a, I want to say it was a, a brow pencil and it was really good. Um, so I'm excited for this. Yet another winning product from these calendars. Day seven here. Looks like we have a pretty big box. Wow. 
wonder what could be in this. Maybe a serum? Only time will tell. All right, looks like we have a retinol eye cream. Now, retinol is a cosmetic ingredient that uh, your skin can convert to retinoic acid, and that can work to improve how the skin cells turn over, smoothing out the surface of the skin, and with long-term use may help to improve collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles further. Also may help to fade dark spots, um, including around the eyes. Now, retinol can be irritating to the eyelid skin, so a retinol eye cream is typically formulated to be more gentle in that area. Um, this is from Sewn By Me. We have a yellow tint to the cream, which is typical. Nice hydrating formula. Like I said, by the time I finish this, my hands are gonna be anti-aged or, or I'm gonna have a rip-roaring hand eczema. Either, either way. <laughs> this has retinaldehyde in it, which your skin converts to the active form by doing just one thing to it. Um, it has mushroom stem extract. Interesting, that may be anti-inflammatory. Niacinamide, compounds from Centella. Looking pro, oh, it does have fragrance. How did I not notice? Oh yeah, I can smell it. Not my preference, but interesting. Day eight. That's a neat image. <laughs> a little circus type ride. All right, let's see what what she has looks like we have lash perm volume fix mascara all right can't complain about a mascara volume fix i like that the applicator has a nice little arch to it as well etude house has some really good makeup uh they're fixing tints they're like a lip tint really good day number nine isn't he cute? This little sleigh. It's like, eh, I've got my cream. Just finished up on the Ferris wheel, and now I'm going to be escorted home with my prize. I don't know. I'm making up a story. <laughs> Looks like we got a hand cream from Frutia. Now, this brand typically puts fragrance in everything. Teeny tiny font here. Uh, yep, a scented hand cream. It's got shea butter. It's pretty moisturizing. The scent's like a light citrus scent. It's kind of pleasant. Hmm, kind of a nice light citrus scent. All right, that feels good, actually. Despite all of the skincare I've already put on my hands. All right, let's check out day 10. Is it just me? This is kind of looking a little like that Beauty of Joseon um, serum that we unboxed. I wonder if this is the same thing. We shall see, but that's what that's what the little box is suggesting. Although the little the pictures they have not necessarily been in keeping with what is in the box. Like there was no there was a pencil in this product. Um, I've already forgotten what what that was. Anyway, oh that's nineteen. We haven't opened it yet. I wonder if it's going to be a little ampule. Anyway, let's unbox this one. This McQueen brand, Moni, Moni McQueen, I got something from this brand last year and it was a win. This is a makeup brand, beige brown. Um, what is this? Some kind of a something or another, maybe a contouring. Um, yeah, contouring, not something I really dabble in too much. Oh, you guys are backlit. You can't even see that. Let's, let's flip her. How can I teach kids to read good when they can't even fit inside the school? There we go. Can you see that? Alrighty, so there we go. That's a little contouring compact. Looks promising. Intriguing. All right, not too bad. All right, y'all, that is the first 10 days of the K-Beauty Advent calendars. Going by fast. Let's take a moment to appreciate Mother Ginger and Clara and Fritz, Snowflake, <laughs> Mouse King, Little Mouse. 
Well, hey guys, I'm all hopped out of the shower. I'm all moisturized to my body. I came in with the Avino Tone and Texture Renewing Night Cream. I almost finished with this. So I've been kind of alternating this as my body moisturizer with my Gold Bond Retinol. I have these kind of in rotation because there's some that I, you know, started this year and want to finish, finish up by the end of the year. But this one is a moisturizer with gluconolactone, which is really good for just maintaining uh, softness, smoothness, suppleness, elasticity of the skin. It's very gentle. Um, in terms of an exfoliant, like very, very gentle. It's really good not only for gentle exfoliation, but it also helps improve water content. It's a good ingredient too to kind of maintain keratosis pilaris um, or you know help break up those little bumps. So I've really been, you know, this is this is a really good one. This is like my second jar of this. Anyway, but to my feet, up to my, I'll say my mid shin. Um, as well as my forearms, around my eyes, and my lips. I have just been, I've been sl slug a bug in here. Petroleum jelly, I'm telling you, it really works wonders, like uh, for the feet. Anyway, so I saw a question asking me about, uh, someone said, you know, my lips are really chapped since starting using a salicylic acid cleanser. Could it be related? Absolutely. If you are using any kind of exfoliant, um, on your face, uh, or you are using a retinoid, you know, on your lips, if, if it migrates to this part of your lips, definitely can lead to chapped lips because there's very little to no um, stratum corneum, especially like right here at this part of the lip. Stratum corneum, skin's outermost layer, pretty much not there. So the lips are really, really vulnerable to irritation from those ingredients. So you definitely can develop chapped lips as well as dry eyelids. Um, I find for myself personally, when I use salicylic acid cleansers, I have to be careful not to get them like on my eyelids because I do end up getting dry eyelids. Petroleum jelly in those areas can make a huge difference. I started watching this show, I started watching this movie on Netflix, I think it was. It was either, uh, yeah, I think it was on Netflix with Juliana Moore and um, Natalie Portman, two actresses I adore. This movie, I didn't have time to watch the whole thing, but what I have watched so far, I find it so beyond disturbing. And not disturbing because it's a movie and the story is you know, disturbing. It's disturbing because yes, it is a movie and the story is disturbing, but it's also disturbing because of the way the other actors and like the bystanders, the, the, the like people that the main characters are coming in contact with talking about this thing that happened. They're just so like blase about it. It is like, it's unsettling um, to say the least. Plus, y'all know my editing on this channel, I do all of my own editing on my videos, by the way. <laughs> I know you guys, I know you guys thought I had a professional team, but <laughs> I'm joking because my editing is bare bones. Um, so, you know, who am I to judge editing? But the editing choices in this movie are odd. The editing choices are on like, you know, sometimes I do some wacky zoom in just to make sure you guys aren't asleep at the wheel. Um, but this this movie, it, it's like the weirdest zoom in. I'm like, who who is editing this? It's bizarre. Um, and the music that they have in this movie is also really odd, like an odd choice. I'm like, what what emotion are we supposed to be feeling here? It's, I mean. I, I am not, you know, a filmmaker or anything like that, but I mean, I've watched movies my whole life. I, and I, I know when something's a little off, you know, there's, there's different and different in a way that's like, oh, this is new. This is interesting. This is a really cool way they're doing it. And then there's just, this is odd. Like this is not, there's something not right here. Like who, who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. Um, let me know. I, and I've already blanked on the movie's name. It's like the, it's got months, like August, I want to say in the title. I'll put it here in text. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not because I just find it so off-putting. 
But that being said, uh, Juliana Moore and Natalie Portman are doing a good job. Uh, you know, of course, they're really good act actresses. They're doing an amazing job, um, especially Juliana Moore. I mean, she is, she's the one like, I'll pretty much watch anything that she's in because I think she's so good. I love her in um, The Dude, what's it called? Um, man, I'm blanking, the Las Vegas movie that I really love. Uh, what, the, guy, the guy going around drinking white Russians. I am blanking on the name. I want to call it National Lampoons, but that is definitely not what it is. Man, it's killing me. I can't think of that movie because it's absolutely one of my favorite movies. And I'm just drawing a complete blank. Oh, anyway, Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore, um, Steve Buscemi, the, the bowling. The Big Lebowski! I knew it would come to me. I knew it would come to me. Wow. Um, yeah, that's a really good movie. Anyway, I'll just say, like, she's not disappointing in this one. She's doing she's doing a bang-up job yet again. And, like, one of the things I find so... Why is she so good? She'll really get into the facial movements of a character and stay consistent with it, which I always find to be really impressive. Like. You know, it's not just like, oh, this is Juliana Moore. It's like you really are seeing something, someone different each, t like in any role that she's in. She really does a good job. Uh, you know, like little little facial things that are consistent with a character that she she is doing. Oh my gosh, you guys, the battery is about to die. <laughs> Who knew? Um, not the battery, the memory card. Um, so I'm gonna round this vlog out here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and that you're having a great weekend. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.